everyone. I'm Casey at the Rejuvenation Place and this is Callie and Gina. And today we're gonna address some skincare concerns that some of our guests have brought to our attention. Um, so a big thing that we need to kind of address is the pH of our skin and how environmental factors can affect that. You know, in North Dakota we have a lot of wind, there is sun exposure. Do we have pollution in North Dakota? We do. A lot of people think when we're not very populated, we don't have maybe as many stressors as bigger cities. We and are in A. Right, we are in agriculture county. Um, lots of farms, lots of cows, which actually do produce methane from um, farts. <laughs> so cow farts. <laughs> cow farts. <laughs> really good for our skin. So even though we don't see a lot of these I things, guess we do have a yeah, they, <laughs> it does affect our skin. So something to really think about is um, pH levels, and Gina's going to explain that a little bit. And the pH levels, um, the best way for me to explain that, and it, I always address this with my clients, is that pH is a really important thing, and um, it is the uh, pH. It stands for potential hydrogen. And potential hydrogen is actually how we measure whether how acidic or how alkaline a product is. And anytime our skin is uh, always at a 5.5, ideally, to can keep our natural moisturizing factor intact. So I like to think of it as like a plastic wrap coating on your face so we don't like to let any bacteria in or moisture out. When we let bacteria in, we get acne or undesirable results of inflama inflammation in our skin. When we let moisture out, we're, we start to develop lines, fine lines, and wrinkles. So it's, it's really important. We picked out the top products that our clients were using at home right now in this time of the year, and we would like to show you a simple test to see where you're at and why these some of these problems might not be addressing the concerns that ideally like you wish it would. So um, we're gonna start with the St. Ives Walnut Scrub. This is a popular exfoliant that people buy, I think mostly like at Target, over the counter, Walmart, and places like that. Um, you just put it on, we're using a litmus paper, and this is gonna give us the percentage or the number of um, acid or alkalinity so that we can see if it's affecting the surface of our skin. So we hold it up against after 15 seconds, basically that should be a good amount of time. And we can go ahead and hold it up here and see where we're at. So we like it to be between the five and a half mark, so anywhere between the five and a six. And anything, like we said, that goes lighter would be acidic. Anything that would go higher would be alkaline. Either way, you're gonna be destroying your plastic wrap natural moisturizing factor, which protects us from getting the bacteria into our skin and the moisture getting out. So we can see that this, this scrub not only scrubs away your natural moisturizing factor, dead skin cells, and every viable source of um, proteins, vitamins, and amino acids that you have in your skin for help building strong collagen. It's not a good product choice. Then we have Cetaphil. This is our most popular recommended when anyone comes to us with a skin issue. Would you agree that most dermatologists, most um, uh, physicians will recommend Cetaphil? Um, Cetaphil is um, supposed to be, let me read what it says, gentle skin cleanser. So we're just gonna test that one here and see how gentle it is. I have a feeling Cetaphil could be like, not really on the spectrum of high. So I have in a couple of minutes here. Is we're gonna see that our Cetaphil, if you look, it's changing in the corner there now which is becoming acidic so once again Cetaphil is acidic and it is much below the five so we're at about a 3 8 range actually some of the clinical peels that we do here are at that three range 
So leaving your skin exposed to that three certainly will let bacteria in. Also, it won't be hydrating either because your moisture level. So if you're using this for, um, because it, the word says gentle, if you're using it because you want to be nice to your skin, your skin is suffering because it's acidic and it probably feels burning, I would say, if it's acidic. So now we grab the, we try to pick a fresh foaming cleanser by Neutrogena. It's a makeup remover. It's all in one. Um, it's um, Neutrogena is a really popular one that yeah, we hear about too, that everybody cost needs Yeah, Neutrogena is cost-effective, it's, you know, the price point, I'm not exactly sure what the price of this one is, and then we're going to bring that up there. We're a little bit to the alkaline side, not much, but, so we're at about a six, so we're just a little bit slightly alkaline on the Neutrogena. And then our last product that we're gonna test that's an over-the-counter would be the Clean and Clear. This is a deep action cream cleanser, oil-free, so I'm assuming this is to target people, anyone that has um, oily or acneic skin. A lot of teenagers are using the Clean and Clear when they start to see hormonal breakouts and they'll start to get worse. And here's the reason why. Clean and Clear actually is one of the most popular ones out there, I guess, that, like Kelly said, that younger people are using. So you can see it's significantly, significantly acidic, so it is definitely breaking that barrier, which would allow for, not only is it letting bacteria in, but when you are robbing your skin of that natural moisturizing factor, your sebaceous glands, which is your oil glands, are gonna overcompensate, and so they're gonna be pumping over time, which is gonna also add to more breakouts. So we have a couple of, of the products that we carry here at the um, Rejuvenation Place. These are our cleanser and toner. This is particularly for, we have three different regimens, just three, um, and um, they are price point really nicely. If these are the sizes they come in the retail. These are professional sizes. But this is $28, this is $28. They are about a six month supply. I will tell you one thing is when you use a cleanser, you always need to use a toner. And the reason for is the cleanser is always a little bit slightly alkaline and you always want to neutralize it and bring it back to um, its normal state so that we do not have overactive sebaceous glands. We don't let bacteria in or moisture out. So let's see what we've got here for the cleansing milk. Yes. Damn, we didn't even have that planned. Matches perfectly about your 5.5. <laughs> And I get that question a lot, Gina, about why do I need to use a toner? A lot of my clients Yeah, are they like, want to just get one or the other, or they right. don't have the time, they say. Right. So I like to explain that. It really does make a difference in your skin's health. I was a big toner skipper before they came out with a mist, I have to say, because it I just nice. didn't like putting it on a cotton ball mm -hmm. or a gauze. It was just an extra swipe or stab, and now just misting it onto my skin. I mean, it's like it's so easy. It's just like this, and then I'm ready to put my moisturizer on. And I actually like love that I'm trapping in some moisture. Mm -hmm. It feels really good. So I'm missing my glasses now because I like, wet them. But you got right in there five, five and a half. Again, the toner. So. Of course, we already knew that the products, because we did a lot of research when we picked our BioJavant skincare line, we didn't just randomly pick anything. We did a lot of research with the company. Um, all of the products by BioJavant, they vary in price point, but they are all pH balanced, which is really important. They're, they can address very many different skin conditions, rosacea, acne, dry skin, um, what anything else you can think of? Keratosis, um, wrinkles, 
uh, texture elasticity, big pores, large sensitivity. pores, sensitive skin. We have a skincare regimen for everyone and we would like you to come down for a complimentary consultation anytime this week. You can just stop in until Saturday at two o'clock we'll we close and we will do an analysis of your skin and recommend the right skincare products for you. Thank you. Bye.